<laughs> yeah, things things are moving fairly quickly, and you know, I think there is a reason. <laughs> We mentioned it a few episodes ago, how CERN is firing back up, and we noticed some strange things going on mm-hmm. from that as already, but they actually uh, hit some particles, smashed some particles at super lightning fast speed, and wow. you know, they found, I think they said they found uh, three new particles or something, so yay. Good for them. Yeah, but you know, the, the, it's not really important what the science is doing, it's more important what the culture is doing, and so, uh, you know... People like us, we've been talking about CERN forever. I, I made, what, 50 videos on CERN Watch and mm-hmm. uh, documented a whole bunch of stuff about CERN. Uh, but anytime CERN comes up, it is something that stirs the conspiracy theories about dimensions and portals and stuff opening up. But of course, we need somebody to debunk such crazy ideas. And so I introduce to you Snopes.com. Oh, good. The greatest debunking platform of all mainstream media. The probably the dump debunking platform that itself has been the most debunked, <laughs> yeah, the most debunked debunking platform. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know what? We used to have a debunker bunker jingle. Remember that? Uh huh. Yeah, it's, it would, it would have fit yeah here. The, the debunker bunker. Yeah. Yeah. So the headline here. No, CERN didn't open a portal to another dimension in July 2022. Uh. Thank God for uh, Snopes, Snopes, man. We're, we're only eight days into July. How do you know it's not going to open up in the next two mm. weeks, three weeks? Well, that's how you know that it's true yeah. and that they <laughs> did open up a portal. CERN has long been a favorite obsession for conspiracy theorists. And uh, yeah, did CERN open the portal on July 5th, 2022? Rating false. Oh. Fact check. CERN, which is the acronym for uh, yeah, CERN, the French language for the European Organization for Nuclear Research, has long been the target of fantastical conspiracy theories. So it should come as no surprise that on July 5th, when the scientists at CERN fired up the Large Hadron Collider after three years of upgrades and maintenance work, some conspiracy theorists would fire up too. Woo. We're fired <laughs> up, baby. Not wrong. For example. One Twitter user surmised that CERN was opening up a portal of astrological proportions, stating obliquely that said portal had to do with an early summer sky show featuring a rare planetary alignment. Okay, great. Astrological. I random, like that. That's funny. Random twit, tw- 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 tweeter, tweeter, tw- tweet. Random yeah, you tweet. gotta debunk the random tweeters, man. It, uh, it's you so, can't just let random tweeters be putting out all this malinformation. It's it's just such. It's not even low hanging fruit. It's it's rotting fruit on the ground that is <laughs> that's being picked up by Snopes to debunk. Yeah. Other posts echoed the same sentiment, including a widely viewed story on the video platform TikTok, in which the user claimed that the LHC was opening a portal to the future. While all the theme songs in the Netflix science fiction series Stranger Things played, mm. uh, parentheses its plot its plot line features an alternate uh, alternate dimension on another video platform YouTube. <laughs> another video platform YouTube. Another user agreed there was a portal opening. However, in this version, the portal was to hell. Oh no! Although it's true, as noted above, that CERN started operating the LHC after an extended period of downtime for upgrades and maintenance. There's no evidence that CERN opened a portal to the future, to hell, wow. or any other dimension other than the current one. Uh. Or Do that they it opened cite up. any like scientific? Uh, yeah, they they things they, uh, kind of. They have a they have CERN's news release, which is like okay, sure. This that's- is hilarious. <laughs> this is so funny. I think that they are turning more into like an entertainment website than, uh, yeah. than a no, debunking uh, news no, there's, website. There's no substance here, and also, of course, you know, the, long time followers, listeners, uh, people in the community out there. Bro, no, yes, bro. What happened? Something break. I'm on Snopes. Mm-hmm. 2022 yeah. enduring member collectible snag a limited edition challenge coin and receive a <laughs> lifetime membership with ad free browsing. What yeah. Snopes is I- making a challenge coin. Yeah. Wow. I did not know what? that. Good, good We're getting fun. Adam Carolla all over again. We're getting Adam Carolla by Snopes. By Snopes. <laughs> what in the world? 
Yeah, well, here, it's suspicious. CERN! Close the portal! <laughs> Of course, uh, the things that were not mentioned in the Snopes article, but are part of the milieu and the history of uh, CERN and all the weird things that surround it. Uh, of course, there's the the weird opening ceremony of the the Gotthard or Gothard. I don't know how to say it. Tunnel uh, back mm-hmm. in 2016, where they had all that weird satanic imagery going on with like dancing angel babies and demon yeah. people walking around and all the right you're not crazy. talking about you're not talking about the shiva statue you're talking about the crazy like uh, uh performance art piece yeah. like occult performance art piece that they put on yeah and the elite they all kind of sat there in the tunnel as they watched and there's like a goat and it was just the weirdest pagan ritual thing ever so yeah no mention of that you know to feed any kind of conspiracy theory but also yes as you mentioned the lord shiva statue that was unveiled back in uh what year was this 20 2004 uh mm, india yeah. gifted them the statue of the destroyer creator and destroyer shiva and you know there's a bunch of other stuff that cern has done and said and there's more there's a science gateway center coming out in 2023 uh, it's got like an auditorium and a globe of science and innovation center and all the kinds of stuff shops and restaurants that's what we need to do we need to do a cern trip eventually basil you and i to make some kind of documentary out of it um, right. And then also, you know, for people that don't know, uh, the birth of the World Wide Web was invented by a British scientist, Tim Berners Lee, in 1989 while working at CERN. So, you know, there's a lot of a lot of substance for conspiracy theorists to chew on, you know, and to analyze. And I must say that a lot of times what we documented was what the scientists themselves were saying and what Snopes does not mention here is how the scientists, the physicists who were working on CERN said in like 2012 and keep bringing it up every episode that we mentioned CERN. He said, Hey, we should be able to open up, you know, holes to other dimensions. We should be able to see them. Yeah. So it's in their okay. own words. Yeah, it's in their own they, language. So yeah. whatever. Um, but you know, the, 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 thing that we always talk about here on this show is how there are themes that pop up as we put together episodes and today's episodes uh, if, if you guys go to the show notes it is a it's a i don't know it's its own masterpiece i would it's say crazy it's, it's a crazy, it's a show, crazy show notes yeah. day so uh but there is a a clear theme and that's why we had cern and the portal talk here more at the top of the the show here hold on one second honey oh that is so cute that is wonderful <laughs> super cute drawing yeah. from the daughter um she's an artist uh yes so what was i saying oh yeah the theme the theme that that came up is is a theme that really is the backbone of this show and we don't always mention it but it's sort of you know if you've been around long enough you know but it, i think it's worth mentioning more often you and i basil but it's this idea that ephesians six twelve talks about which is that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. In other words, you know, while we're in this carnal form in these flesh meat suits, you know, the war, yes, there are people doing things and whatever, but it's not really about that. The actual war that's taking place is spiritual. And in that sense, you know, when we talk about things that are from the unseen realm, the other side, perhaps other dimensions, uh, it gets into all kinds of admittedly some speculative, but also rooted in a lot of biblical worldview or biblical cosmology type of stuff uh, when it comes to the entities from beyond and interacting with our world and Bible prophecy and eschatology. So I just want to set that as the theme here. And when we look at things happening in the world, we might be able to see some hints as to what the spiritual influences are regarding those, those events, uh, which leads us to the story 